On Friday, Jordan Vandersloot, a Dutch citizen, entered a courtroom in Peru. He's charged with the murder of a 21-year-old Stephanie Flores, a Peruvian. What happened next is just one more twist in the long legal saga that the man many believe to be responsible for the murder of the disappearance of Natalie Holloway. Betty Nguyen has more. Wearing a bulletproof vest underneath his blazer, a solemn Jorn Vandersloot entered a Peruvian courtroom where he is on trial for murder of 21-year-old Stephanie Flores. Although he was expected to enter a guilty plea, Vandersloot surprisingly asked the judges for more time, telling the court, I want to accept the sincere confession, but I'm not in agreement with all of the aggravating circumstances that the ministry has presented. A panel of three judges agreed to suspend the trial, but Vandersloot will be required to enter a formal plea January 11th when the trial resumes. Vandersloot is famous for being arrested but never charged in the 2005 disappearance of another woman, Natalie Holloway, on the Caribbean island of Aruba. But in this case, the evidence appears to be more solid. In 2010, Vandersloot was captured on videotape with Stephanie Flores in a casino and later admitted to police in a taped confession that he killed her. After the trial ended, the victim's father, Ricardo Flores, spoke to the media, saying, This rapidly concludes, I hope, I think this will allow my family to later have a little peace and some closure. Betty Nguyen, CBS News, New York. For more on this, we turn to Barry Slotnick, chairman of the New York Litigation Group. Barry, good morning. Good, good to see morning, you. Good morning, John. How are you? Well, this is an interesting development. So is there a strategy here? Oh, absolutely. Van der Sloot does not want to go to jail. I think he's come to realization that he's going to jail. At this point, this is determinative of the fact of how many years. Is it 30 or is it eight years? And that's what's in play. Okay, so the evidence in the Flores case, which he's now seen a lot of, um, is very compelling. What kind of sentence could he be looking for here? I mean, he was facing at least 30 years. Well, that's for murder. He, his lawyer is telling the world, my client was emotionally disturbed. Uh, he was not guilty by reason of insanity. And as a result of that, let him plead to simple murder. That's eight years. Versus murder, which is 30 years. All right, now, is there a possibility that this would work? Sure it is. I mean, the, there are three judges, three women, uh, who are going to make a determination as to what his sentence is. If he's allowed to plead guilty to simple homicide, it's 8 to 20, not 30. As a defense lawyer who has defended everyone from Bernard Goetz to John Gotti to some of the top white-collar criminals uh, falsely accused, as you always say, right. um, in the business, how would you feel going up with a potential serial killer of women in front of three women, uh, female judges? Uh, I, I've had more pleasant experiences in my life, but you deal with the cards you've been dealt with. And the fact of the matter is, is that uh, you make the plea to them. This is not murder. This is a disturbed individual. He was emotionally disturbed. Insanity. Two separate issues. One, the Natalie Holloway case. Is there a deal that could be made with this plea to say, if you plead guilty to this, you have to admit to the Natalie Holloway case and at least tell the family where the body is? Absolutely. I mean, it's alleged that Van der Sloot tried to uh, get some money by revealing where the body was. Uh, I don't think anybody questions the fact he knows where the body is. Now that's the second issue that you've just touched on. So. He allegedly tried to extort the family of Natalie Holloway for $25,000 in return for revealing where the body was. That should be a case in U.S. federal court. Will we ever see him as a defendant in the dock here? Uh, I doubt that. I think that ultimately uh, we will allow them in Peru and Aruba to take care of this issue. We've had enough of him. All right. Well, thank you, Barry Slotting, and thanks for joining us, and it's great to see you again.